it is a uh, it's a beautiful frosty morning out here. It looks actually pretty neat out here today. Um, it will warm up, and most of this frost will probably be gone by the end of the day. But even though it's cool outside, we're going to go ahead and try to work on our barn renovation. So part of the barn renovation is we need to create a barnyard, and that's what these fence posts are for. So today we're going to be putting our bracing in. We're going to brace these fence posts so that we can hang our fence on there. So I've never done uh, fencing before, so I'm learning. And uh, so I'm going to show you everything that we bought to put in the bracing for the fence and the tools that we're going to be using. And hopefully I got all the right stuff. So here's the things that we bought at the farm store to be able to make our braces. We've just got some number nine galvanized wire and that's what we're going to use for our brace wire. And then we've got some 10 inch brace pins. We've got the shorter five inch brace pins and then I ended up buying a long three eighths inch drill bit so that I'd be able to drill the holes for those pins. And then we ended up buying some crimp sleeves. So I've got some number nine uh, crimp sleeves here and that will be for uh, that'll be for you know splicing this um, number nine wire together in our brace and then I also went ahead and I bought some these are 10 to 16 gauge uh, crimp sleeves and that'll if I have to if I have to splice the fence that's what I'll use that for so then I needed the tool to splice it together and according to the boxes this is the right tool so I ended up buying the, the crimp sleeve tool. We ended up buying um, some, uh, I think these are inch and three quarter barbed fencing staples. And then the last thing we bought is this is like a little ratchet wrench for the little tensioners, um, for the little ratchet tensioners that you can use to tighten up, uh, to tighten up this brace wire. So, I didn't end up buying the tensioners because we actually had some here on the property. There's a bunch of stuff. This stuff over to the side here is stuff we found on the property. So these are a bunch of tensioners here. I may not have enough. I may have to go buy a couple. Uh, these are those little wires that you, uh, you tie your fencing to your T-posts. I've got a bunch of those that we found here on the property. And then we've got, we've probably got another bucket full also, but this is all stuff for electric fence. So we've got a bunch of electric fence materials also that we uh, found here on the property. So um, in the future, we'll probably put a electric wire on top of the fence to try to keep things from crawling over. So for the tools, this is what I ended up bringing out here. Um, I ended up bringing a couple drills out, measuring tape, uh, pencil. I've got some uh, lineman pliers here, a big set of lineman pliers. I think I'll also get some bolt cutters if I need those. And I've got a battery powered saw along with a level. And hopefully that's about all that I need to put this together. We're just going to have to wait and see. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So the first day I start putting together all these H braces uh, for the fencing around the barnyard and I'm putting them together the way I think they should be. And I keep running into problems uh, and mistakes that I'm making and I'm trying to correct those mistakes as I go along. But not every way that I try to correct that mistake ends up being the proper way to do it. So basically by the end of the first day, all of my braces that I put in are not gonna be 100% correct. So on the second day, later in the video, we're gonna come back, we're gonna put in another brace we're going to get it installed the right way and address all the mistakes I made earlier in the video. So watch along, see if you can catch all my mistakes, and at the end of the video, we'll finally get it done right. Well, I think we got her all tensioned up and put together so uh, the, the, I've only actually found one good manual out there on how to do field fence and it's uh, from stay tough fence and uh, that's where I got the thing I did on this side with the two staples stuck in the other one I think that was that was to make sure that those wires uh, ride on a smooth surface and hopefully this will tension up a little bit better so I tensioned this thing up 
fairly tight. I, tight, I tension it up enough that when you look at the, um, the side of the post here, you can see a gap starting to form on, on this side of this post and on this side over here, this post, where it's actually pulling the fence um, that direction, which is the opposite way of the, you know, of, of the way we'll be putting tension on this. So I've tightened that up and enough that it's actually starting to move the posts. So I think that that's, that's good and that's probably the right way to do it. So after I got this put together, I've kind of looked it over and I think I've made a few mistakes. So one is I was originally going to put my fence on the side that I'm standing on and that's where I put my ratchet. Well, one thing I put my ratchet, it's a little high, it should probably be in the middle, but I've got it on the same side of the fence. So I think that's kind of a mistake. Now, I don't know if there's really a right or wrong side that I should put my fence on because I'll have animals on both sides. I can have them in the barnyard or I could have them in this pasture on this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my fence on this side. It's only a real short run, about 50 feet on this side of the barn just for the barnyard. So I'm just going to shift my fence. So I think I'm actually pretty happy with how well this actually goes together. It's a lot easier than I thought. So I've got uh, one, two... I've got at least three or four more braces that I need to go ahead and put in and uh, I'll go ahead and get that done and wrapped up. Well, I'm on my second brace and then I got it all put on, start tightening it up, and this happened. If you can tell, I started pulling my fence post actually out of the ground. So, not sure what happened here. You can tell like uh, this is actually lifted. Um, so, what I guess I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna I've loosen the tension already. I'm gonna try to get this loosened. I'm gonna get my post back down in the ground. And I got a feeling that my angle of my brace is too much. So I'm gonna just raise this staple up a little bit and try to pull more, uh, a little higher up on that left post there. So, see what happens. Well, we got our brace wire back installed and we've got it about just only about eight inches taller But it made enough of a difference in the angle You can see where the other staple was and how much taller we are, but just that uh, slider Angle it didn't end up pulling the post out of the ground this time. So uh, we'll uh, Try this out for now Well, I got all the bracing done here around the barn. These little openings you see like this, this is gonna be some four foot walkthrough gates. So, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get some lunch. I'll probably come back. I need to put another brace down that direction because I'm just gonna brace off of this one back here and stretch it all the way out into a little bit of pasture this direction. So I'm gonna go ahead and I need to put in two more fence posts. So I think this will be a good time to try out that new uh, post hole digger that I got for, for the tractor. Well, I spent the rest of the afternoon yesterday just kind of messing around with the post hole digger and the tractor. I had to get the three point conversion hitch on the tractor, had to get this post hole digger on there, and then I had a 12 inch bit on there and I had, kind of had to fight getting that 12 inch bit off and uh, put on a nine inch auger bit today to drill post holes. 
basically went through everything, tried to make sure everything was greased up and ready to go for today. So we're going to take this out to the pasture. We're going to drill uh, two more holes, make another H brace, and uh, hopefully we'll get this one put in uh, uh, the correct way today. So I did do some reading last night on the H brace, and uh, there's a few things I think I probably was doing wrong after I did some more reading. And uh, so hopefully this last one I'll actually have probably set up uh, more properly. I'm going to go ahead and get the tractor started up. We'll head out to the pasture and start drilling holes. Alright, so after reading up more last night, so my post I'm going to put in, it's a four foot tall fence. I'm putting the eight foot posts in and they're going to be four and a half inch, four and a half feet tall. So I'll have an extra six inch of post above my fence so I can hang electric wire or barbed wire. And then my posts are not going to necessarily be plumb and level, they're going to be perpendicular to the ground. So right now I'm kind of on a slope. So this post will be leaning this direction so that it's perpendicular to the ground. And that's how we're going to set these posts. That's how I meant to set those ones the other day, but I don't know if they ended up that way. I think most of them ended up closer to plumb than perpendicular to the ground. Oh, that, pulled, that was full of water already. So this post here, it's now set in the ground. We got it all tamped in. It's uh, very solid. So it's, like I said, it's leaning slightly uh, this direction because we're going uphill this direction. So it's perpendicular to the ground. This one, we want to put the same amount of lean on it. So when we put that in the ground, we'll just do double check. We'll measure across the top and across the bottom here and it should be the same measurement. And then we know it's the same amount of lean. So we'll go ahead and put that post in. So we've got both posts in the ground. They're both leaning slightly this way because we're going uphill. And next thing is to put in our brace across the two posts. So before I was putting the brace right around 48 inches, that is the top of the fence. And so after reading up, they actually suggest that the brace be lower than the top of the fence. And it should be between the second and third strands of wire from the top of the fence down. So your typical fence is a six inch span. So that would be one six inch span plus half of the other, that'd be like nine inches shorter than the top of the fence. So instead of 48 inches, we're gonna go about 39 inches um, where our brace is. And instead of us putting that brace across level like we were earlier, that, from what I can tell, I was doing that incorrect also. Um, I actually should um, be measuring up the same distance on each post and then that brace will go straight across and will be uh, even with the ground so it'll be sloped with the ground as well so that's what we're going to do we're going to measure up about 38 to 39 inches on each side drill our uh, holes for our brace pins we'll get our brace in there and then uh, then we'll come back and we'll put our uh, brace wire on so we got our H brace installed. It is the same measurement up from the ground on each side. Now uh, this post um, is actually in the ground farther than this post. That's why this one looks taller. But from the ground, it's the same measurement. Now we do have a gap over here on this side. So when we put our our brace wire around here, that'll pull that uh, all together. So for our brace wire, what we're going to shoot for, we're shooting for a 30 degree angle. That's what I. I read the other day is that you're kind of shooting for a 30 degree angle and as long as we got all our heights and everything right that'll just be a few inches off the ground on this side so we'll go ahead and put our staple in over here and uh, we'll start wrapping our brace wire well from what I can tell 
I think I finally got a properly installed H brace uh, for fencing or a single brace. Um, I think this looks pretty good. So now everything I did yesterday is wrong. I know it's wrong. That's going to bother me. Um, I think it'll work the way it is. But I really don't think it'll be that big of a deal for me to go and just go and move all these braces down to the proper height and then readjust the wire and retension that back up. So I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and fix all this these other braces so that they all look like this one and uh, then we'll be ready for fence. So we're going to be stretching a uh, field fence. It's going to be a, a goat and sheep fence is what we got, field fence. And we're going to put that around the barnyard and this uh, east side of the barnyard actually pulls all the way out to here in the pasture um, and it's just one pull so that's why we put this brace in so after we get that done we'll be making fence gates so there's more to come we still got to get the stalls on the inside made up um, so it'll be a process we're gonna get there thanks for watching <laughs>